Hi you guys, this is the first in a series of videos I'm going to be doing on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, tips and ideas to make life easier and a few uh, applications that I've found useful that uh, may be useful to yourselves. Uh, the first one I want to share with you is uh, an application that wire wirelessly transfers files, videos uh, and applications back and forth from uh, your PC or your Mac. The reason I'm uh, talking about this application is because initially when you get your Samsung Galaxy S3 you take out your uh, USB cable that comes with the uh, Galaxy S3 and you tether it to your MacBook or desktop Mac. Most of the time, your Samsung Galaxy S3 won't play nicely with your Mac, i.e. it won't mount on the desktop and show as a, a drive that you can access to get files, pictures, photos, etc. etc. Now, I'm not saying it won't work all the time, it's pretty stable on a PC, so you can clip it into a PC, go to my computer and uh, you'll find your files there, no problem. But on the Mac it's a bit finicky. Now you can use Keys, which is the Samsung version, if you like, similar to iTunes, where you can plug it in, you uh, activate Keys on your uh, computer, laptop or whatever, and use that to transfer files back and forwards. Now what I found with Keys is it's quite slow at transferring files. The interface is not the best interface out there. So quickly, what I want to share with you is a wireless application that's free on the Android market, the Play Store, and the application is called AirDroid. If you install AirDroid on your device, this application works on any Android device, although we're specifically talking about the Samsung Galaxy S3 here at the moment. What you need to do once you've got your uh, application running on your device, obviously uh, open the application and you'll find this page that pops up first. Step one, it says open either of these addresses on uh, your computer to start with. Now what I've done, I've typed the first address which is web.airdroid.com and I've got that saved onto my MacBook Pro here. So if we go from the top panel and I click on that to activate that straight away, you'll see what happens. You come up with this page that starts off which is the uh, initial page that you come across. Now you see on there that it requires a passcode to log in. If I show you the, the Galaxy S3, you can see on the screen there, uh, scan or enter code, so you can virtually type the code into the box that's on the screen where it says passcode and log in. If you don't want to go down that route, the camera symbol on the bottom of the uh, uh, application on your Android device, if you click on the camera, it opens a scanning device that's within the app. Go over to your screen and scan it in and it'll scan it straight away and it'll say success and straight away you'll see on your screen now, I'll move the phone out of the way the screen is connecting and on the device, the Samsung Galaxy S3, it tells you to disconnect you're connected at the moment or disconnect, so you're connected to the IP address that's your Wi-Fi linked address for your home based Wi-Fi so I'll put the phone down out of the way, you can now turn, that, uh, turn the screen off if you like now you'll see on the screen in front of us you've got various options you can uh, go to different uh, EARL addresses, you've got details of your, your internal drive, your SD card, you've got immediate access over to your apps, your files, your videos, photographs, etc, etc. So if I go into photos, click on that, it'll open up a selection of photographs that are on the device. And now what you get when your photographs open on the device, you uh, obviously have access to all your uh, photos, your WhatsApp, camera roll, wallpaper, etc and you get an option to download or upload. If you click download after selecting uh, a series of photos that you want, so like wallpaper, I like wallpaper and we select uh, that wallpaper and download and you can now see in the bottom uh, of Chrome browser that the uh, JPEG is uh, downloaded and it will be in our download manager. So we go into downloads we can actually see that it's actually downloaded and it's there so we can click and we can move that around. Uh, other things you can do, you can shut this down, it's very very fast, it moves data around really really quickly, there's not much difference between a cable and uh, the Wi-Fi, it actually uses the Wi-Fi speed that your router and the home network is capable of transferring speeds, it's not connected to the internet in any way, so click on files, same thing again, you've got access to all your files, your SD cards, so everything's on your SD card, you've got access to your downloads, your videos, all your applications, and it's fairly easy to use. So that's a quick uh, way of transferring files back and forward from your uh, Samsung Galaxy S painlessly on a Mac or a Mac uh, desktop. 
Uh, it can also be used on a PC, uh, although your uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 connects to a PC quite easily. The interface is quite nice on this. Apart, uh, instead of just going to my computer and looking through files, you can see it's uh, set out in different uh, settings. So if I click on music, it opens up all my music that's in there, all the albums. Uh, you can get different uh, different views. So you can go to tiles. You can go cover art, all the rest of it. So very very useful, very clean interface, very very quick. And for those of you who are using Samsung Galaxy S3 with a Mac who are scratching your head, trying to get a good connection via cable, try this route and see what you think. And leave comments in the comment box below. Give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe, and I'll get more videos out to you in the near future.